Welcome back everybody. We are in my garage where the urban worm bag is and the African night crawlers are living in. Right now it's about 77 degrees in the garage so it's still a good temperature to continue to keep them inside the garage. It has been exactly four weeks since we've last looked in here. So let's go ahead and feed these guys today. We'll take a look and see how they're doing. Last time I did get a comment saying that the bin looked dry, so we'll look out for that. If indeed it is, we'll add some moisture in here and add some water. And then I have some big food pieces, actually two pieces of food that are quite big. I didn't chop them up or didn't do anything to them. I just put them in the freezer and we'll add this into the bin today. The temperature still is looking wonderful right at that 81 80 degree mark so that's perfect and put that on top i'll move that off to the side while we go ahead and look at this but i'm going to bring you guys in closer there we go so this cardboard is still here on top but this paper is pretty much gone. We had like a layer of the paper and the food here, and this paper is just a little piece that's still left. There's the other piece of it here, and I'm seeing some worms, a little tiny one right there. One just slipped my hand, but here he is. Let's see. Let's take a good look at him. Beautiful. It might be a tad dry. So we'll add some moisture in here. Let's dig a little bit more and then I'll spray it a little bit. Definitely no food left. I'm going to spray it now because... If I were just to spray the top, it kind of just settles along the top and it doesn't go any lower. So I'll just add a little bit here while I've had the hole dug. There's a worm right there while I'm spraying. Perfect. Let's check the other side. There's some good sized worms right there. Let me see if I can grab them and show you. Babies. There they are, trying to escape my hand. Put them back before they get annoyed with me. <laughs> I know I'm not really supposed to dig in this far, but it's just fun. <laughs> okay, let's bring the sides down a little bit. Well, actually, we gotta spray this side a little bit too. That'll be good for now. And then we'll cover this paper up too. So that way the worms can consume it all the way. And then we need to make some room in the middle for this feeding that I have. I just want to move the worms off to the side so I'm not putting any frozen food right on top of them. There's so many here. Okay. We're gonna use the paper that was on top, on the bottom, so we can set the frozen pieces right here, like so. Today they're gonna get a special treat. We have a whole head of broccoli that started yellowing on me, and half a head of cauliflower that I didn't get the chance to use. We'll set that in here. 
I purposely didn't really chop them up because I wanted to see how the worms are going to do with such big pieces. And then it gave me a good idea. Oh, let's, let's feed it to the worms and see what they do with it. And I have a few pieces of coffee. This time I did not forget the grit. So we'll give them a little extra because they missed out last time. And then let's try to cover this up the best we can. I'm going to place some shredded paper and cardboard on the top again. The paper might be a little dry for the worm, so I'm just gonna spray it down as I slowly drop it in here. I think we'll add in one more handful and that can go along the sides and give it a good cover. And then spray that down as well. So four weeks is a little too long for these guys. We did see that they're pretty bare for the food scraps. Just a few pieces of paper left and the shredded paper and cardboard on the top but no food at all. So I need to do a little bit better and come in here a little bit more often. But I'll try my best to get him in here sooner. I think that's a good sprinkle of water for them right now. And then I have this fresh piece of paper here just kind of to cover it up. Might as well moisten that down as well. Plus the water that's running off can go into the bedding where it's needed. And the top always dries out so fast. I think that will do. We can zip this up. And I forgot to put the thermometer back in here, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll close it back up again. There we go. It's probably dropping now because I think I touched those frozen pieces, but it should pick back up once those defrost in here. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.